Good morning, everybody. It's Captain Mac. I got up extra early this morning. I'm going to take you green light fishing. What we got here is a submerged light in the water. fish all over it. I'm going to take a bucktail in there. We're going to chunk him in there and see if we can catch him. So here we go. Fire the jig in there. Oh, there he is. Look at there. As soon as I threw it in there, awesome. Look at that. Holy cow. Now, one thing about these lights, usually that'll happen. First bite, first jig in there, whatever you're throwing gets a bite immediately. Sometimes it'll spook them. Oh, look at it. But you need to take, make a good cast, but be ready, because that one I cranked just three cranks on the handle, and he had it. Nice fish. Now, I'm using really light tackle. I like light tackle. Cause that way I can sit way off the light and make a nice long cast. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I'm gaining on him now. He made a nice long run. This is a nice fish. <laughs> I wish you could see this. You can't get the top out there. I can see a silhouette in the light. Look at that. Wow. This is good stuff, man. You gotta miss a little sleep. And you know what? I'm on the near, of course, in my home lake. But this will work. Any lake that's got stripers, if you got lights, fantastic springtime technique. Not limited to spring. But April, May, man, they're all over these. It's fascinating because of the visual aspect. You can pull up there and see the fish. Good stuff. I'm just throwing a little 3 8 bucktail. I got it tipped with a fluke. Eight pound test. Man, good stuff. Man, unbelievable fight. Okay, he won't quit. Oh. So if you don't mind missing a little sleep, and believe me, it's worth it. This will wake you up big time. This will wake you up better than any cup of coffee. You don't have to do it early in the morning. We started pre-dawn, but you can do it throughout the night. I can't tell how big he is. I can see, see him flopping around out there. <laughs> Everything's bigger and better at night. More exciting. Catch up on some. He's close to the boat here. Let's see if we can finish him off here. He's still not going to give up. Come here, bud. Come here. Nice fish. Look at this. Look at that. Ate that jig up. You saw it there, first cast in. Now, chances are, man, he wasn't going anywhere. This is what's nice about a jig. A single hook, you get a real high percentage of strikes to hookups. Beautiful fish, look at that. The green light fish. So yeah, now chances are, if I'd had a couple guests with me, and I'd had three jigs in there, there's a good chance I'd get three bites. Now, what's gonna happen? You catch one, two or three, whatever. Now you might get another two or three bites, but generally the fish will spook. Leave that light, go find you another one. Come back to that light 30 minutes, maybe an hour later, and these guys will be right back up there waiting for you. So that was worth getting out of bed. What an absolutely beautiful fish, too. Look at that, he's perfect. So we're going to let that one go and grow. Some other angler can enjoy catching him, maybe.